And you guys, this hair is off of Amazon. See right here. This is what it's going to look like. You can choose different lengths that you want. Go get this. It is so bomb. This exact look here. Make sure you click the link down below so that you can go to this exact page. And you can get this look, girl. It's like... Today I will be patient and watch the entire video. Now let's get into this video. See you have the loop at the top to crochet it through. Followed by a braid with pieces of human hair coming out. Oh this human hair is really soft. And then it also ends with that curl. So 20 braids per pack. Alright so I have 5 packs total. Okay. Let me part my hair kind of pushed back. So the top will be the individual squares with the cornrows and then the back will just be the cornrows. Okay y'all, so I'm also over here doing a TikTok. Stay to the end of this video so you can see the TikTok. And also go to my TikTok so you can watch it and like it, leave girl a comment, whatever. Okay, so here's the section. You see how my part is kind of, kind of pushed back. So I'm gonna save this for my regular cornrows and we're ready to box this up up here. Side side, because I want a middle part. And I do want some edges out. She's gonna go. Okay, so next, you split the hair so that it's three pieces. And I'm going to just braid underhand like this to get it flat. Nice and taut and flat. Now my moisturizer. Again, open this up so we have three pieces and then just braid it through. Do a little underhand braid. Twist or braid it to the ends. Okay, cool. It may look like it, but no, you're not. Okay, let's pull this through and braid. One more motion. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's really flat. Making progress. I ain't gonna lie, this taking a little minute. Like, probably been braiding my hair, braiding the top, going on two hours. Finally, and it look good. So listen, I want the front to be defined like this to give that illusion of individual braids. And then the ones in the back, I'm just going to take my finger and section the hair. I'm not going to do a part because I don't want it defined. I don't want that, you know, crispy part look in the back. That's not what I'm going for. So just do it with my finger. Finally, I'm done. Done with the top. Like this is more than enough hair. Ooh, a ponytail would have been cute. Y'all, my TikTok is <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, moving right along. Look at the top. You see those loops? Perfect. I need to, okay, let me just do it. All right, this is one pack. One pack right here. Second pack, baby, baby. Okay, quick tip so you won't have like spaces in between where the part is. Add a piece of hair in between. So like go up in here 
add one of the braids. Sort of fill in those gaps. This is two packs. Okay, three packs of hair just in the back. And I'm happy I put all this in because it looked good, it looked full. And that I used that She Is Bomb Goo. My hair is a little hard that it's been dried now. Okay, because I want the loop to be at the bottom. So whichever way you want your loop going, put your hook that way. Okay, yeah, so now, see, the loop is underneath. Perfect. All right, it look a little hard. I'm just try to skim it across the top. Okay, it doesn't even hurt. I was just anticipating it to hurt. Okay, pull that up. Ah, damn, it's a little tight. That's why I was like, no, I'm not using rubber bands. Absolutely not. And if you do decide to use rubber bands because your grip gain not A1, just do not do it tight. Trust, when you crochet the hair through, it will tighten it. I can't even get this fucker through. What in the actual fuck? Hell, do not use any product that's going to make your hair hard. Cause, ah, damn. <laughs> like, it doesn't hurt. It's just tight. Hard to pull it through. Like a little tension there. I guess that means it hurt, huh? Oh, did I pull that too tight? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That goo like really made my hair hard. Okay. I don't know if you see, but you see that little bit of hair is all I'm trying to go through. I'm not trying to go through all the way at the bottom. No. And plus I want it to be, you know, flat. Oh. Okay. One more row and I have seven braids left. <laughs> I used all the hair, but it looks so good. Yeah. I like it. I love it. I'm hungry. This style took a little minute. Okay, so basically, because the braids at the top are like tight, I go down with the hook like this, and then I can push it through. cool with that she gorgeous bust down middle part gorgeous I love it okay y'all this is the completed look it's so full I use all five packs of hair the back, the middle, side, bust down middle part. You can push it over to the side and it eats. Yeah. I love it. All over to the side, baby. Don't play because we can do that. See how long it is? Curls for the girls. Go get it. So thick. And it's not heavy at all. So cute. It took me all day. <laughs> this took me all day, but I was also trying to film this other video. So yeah. If I could guess, I would say it took me like eight hours. If I wasn't filming, I'll say about six hours. 
took a little minute and i will show y'all the tiktok video but i think it's just don't look crazy without the sound because i don't want this video to get flat go to my tiktok yeah go check your girl out all right y'all so it's like two hours later and i'm taking out my hair because i have other styles to do that i have to make sure i get out for these companies before the holidays so you know so let me show you how i'm taking it out just basically pull it right back through the loop so i flip this over like kind of tug on this and push it through like that and then wiggle it okay yeah I'm going to save these for another time. Still look good. Mm -hmm. The next style I'm doing is some mini twist. So that's going to be another day. Y'all don't curse me out in the comments either. Like, I didn't choose this life. This life chose me. <laughs> My stomach growling. It's time for me to eat. What time I ate? Once at 3 o'clock. It is now 11.30. I wish I could leave it in longer, but I can't. So yeah, that's how you do it. And this side is the same way. Just lift it from over here. Pull that up and through. <laughs> Good night. I'm gonna put them right back through the string too. Like I'm gonna make them real nice and neat. Like I started off being neat with it, but then girl, flop, flop, flop. I have a couple that I can't just pull through. They're just too, I don't know, I can't get it. So what I start to do is just tape loose my braids in the back. Is this the one with the braid on it? Oh yeah, see? Then it just come right off. What the next, what the other one at? One more, okay, cool. But that's how you take it out. Mm-hmm.